वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस राइट पाइथन कोड टू रिटर्न दी मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ स्टेप्स नीडेड टू मूव दी नाइट इन दी चेस बोर्ड टू एनी ऑफ इट्स डेस्टिनेशन एस वी नो ईच मूव इज टू स्क्वायर्स इन अ कार्डियल डायरेक्शन फॉलोड बाय वन स्क्वायर इन एन ऑर्थोगोनल डायरेक्शन बाय दिस वे देयर आर एट पॉसिबल मूव्स फॉर द नाइट Two in each of the left, right, top, and bottom, and these moves, eight moves, can be defined in a set, as we see in the Python code. The first two sets indicates the movement in the bottom direction, and the next two sets towards top. and the next two steps towards right and the last two set of data are towards left side from the current position of the knight in the chess board we are going to find the minimum number of steps needed to move the knight to its destination by following breadth first search algorithm so bfs algorithm can be indicated in simple five steps first is to enqueue the start location as the root node second step is to dequeue a node and examine that is third step examine if the destination is found if it is found we can quit the bfs and report the level of the node which is our needed answer that is the number of steps is provided by the level of node if at step 3 the destination is not found then at step 4 again we have to enqueue with the direct child node that are not already visited the direct child node is nothing but the possible moves maximum eight moves of the knight from its current position so they form the direct child node and the last step fifth step is if the queue is not empty we have to repeat from step 2 now on repeating to step 2 means our queue is now with the child nodes that are not visited so again we will check if the destination is found if so report the level of the child node and quit the search as we got the minimum number of steps taken by the knight otherwise again we have to enqueue it with the next level of child nodes and repeat this infinitely until we find the number of moves for our knight so this is can be easily understood with python this is all simple steps so we can implement quickly i am going to use a double ended queue provided by the collections module so let me i have imported double ended queue from collections module now coming uh, to the algorithm bfs algorithm breadth first algorithm uh, first step is we have to enqueue the start position as root node uh, before that let me define the function as minimum knight moves so that it is flexible to change the start and the destination positions so let us have start x start y and destination x and destination y as four parameters to our uh, minimum knight moves function now we have to enqueue the start position as the node and uh, let me have the variable q which uh, shall be initialized with st 
start x and y which is the parameter to this function. So start x and start y. I also want to hold the level of the node in this queue. So at first let me initialize uh, the variable level to 0 and have this in our queue. So this is our step 1 which is nq start x and y as the root. So we made our step 1. Next, going ahead, we have to dequeue a node and examine it. So, let us have the variable current x, current y and again level which shall take the value from our queue using uh, left. So, this will remove the value from the queue from the left directions. As we have already initialized with three parameters, start, x, y and level, uh, those values will be now holded in current x, y and level. So, this is our uh, step 2 which is dequeue node. And now, we will move to the third step. Check if the destination is found. If so, we have to report the level of the node and return so that we can quit the search. So, step 3 is if current x and current y are same as destination x and destination y. As we know destination x and y are the parameters to our function along with start x and y. So if current x and y is same as the destination, let us return the level and thus our search for minimum number of steps is completed. So this is our Step 3. Uh, next step that is step 4 of BFS is if the match is not found again we have to NQ the direct child nodes of the current node that are not visited. So first uh, let us do the first half of this. That is NQ the direct child nodes. Then we will see how to track that it is visited or not visited. So step 4. First half of step 4 is achieved by taking the set in moves and append it to the queue and to append that it should be done by adding it to current x by dx value and current y by dy value. So, this way we are appending the child, direct child node to our queue. As we know, our queue also has the third parameter level. As it is a child node, let me increment the level by 1. So, this is one half of our fourth step in BFS algorithm. Let me call it as 4A because we have one more thing is uh, NQ the direct childs that are not already visited. So now we have to 
trace what are the nodes that we have visited. Then only we can find if the node is already visited or not. For that, let me have a set called as visited. So it's a set and it shall be tracked. So before appending any child node, visible set shall be added with the new nodes. So current x plus dx and current y plus dy is added to the visited set. So visited set will hold all the nodes that are added to the queue. So before adding it, now we have the comfort to check if the new child node is already visited or not. If it is not visited, then we have to append to our queue which satisfies our algorithm. NQ direct child node only if it is not visited. There is also one more if check that we should consider is while having a maximum uh, 8 child nodes from the current node, we should also consider that the movement is not going outside the boundary. It shall not go outside the boundary of the four sites. So here we will do a boundary check and also uh, we will do that the node is not visited. For that, the current x with plus dx shall be within 0 to a value n. n shall be the boundary length which we can define outside globally and also, along y direction, that is current uh, y plus dy is less than the boundary condition and the new position that is current x plus dx comma current y plus dy is not visited already. So not in the visited set. That means we will add the new position to the visited node and also NQ the new position to the Q along with the level. So this two together satisfies our fourth step that is NQ the direct child nodes only if it is not visited. After getting the direct child nodes, our fifth step says if the queue is not empty, repeat from step 2. That is again dequeue the child node and examine if the destination is found. So we have to repeat step 2 provided the queue is not empty.
so the queue is not empty repeat step 2 and on examining if the current position is matches to the destination exit the breadth first search and report the level or the number of moves if not the step 4 is append the direct child node which are not visited so now we have to repeat until uh, we get uh, the levels or as a defensive program if the queue is empty there is no result we will return minus 1 so let us now define our value n that is boundary which is square as um, uh, 7 because we start from 0 to 7 which will match to the size of uh, size of our chess board and we have to print the minimum number of steps needed to move the knight to its destination so within print let me call uh, our define um, min knight moves and we have to pass four parameters start x y and destination x y let me say the start position as 3 comma 3 and the destination as 1 comma 2 let me execute it so in one step we could move the knight from its current position 3 comma 3 in the chess board to 1 comma 2 as uh, we can uh, uh, see uh, 1 comma 2 is on the right side uh, top y axis so in one move we can achieve this destination let us now uh, change to other destinations say 6 comma 6 and the minimum number of steps needed to go from 3 by 3 to the destination 6 by 6 by night in the chessboard is 2 steps So, this is our uh, simple algorithm based on breadth first search. Hope you liked our video. Please subscribe to our channel and share with your friends.